Marilyn Monroe's secret sister was even more beautiful than her. Marilyn Monroe told the press she had no living family, so no one knew about her sister, Bernice Baker Miracle. Bernice was born in 1919 in California. Her parents Gladys and Jasper Baker divorced in 1921. Jasper took Bernice and her brother Jackie to Kentucky. Gladys later claimed he'd kidnapped her children. Gladys had a relationship with Charles Stanley Gifford. The pair welcomed their daughter, Norma Jean, in 1926. Years later, she would become Marilyn Monroe. Gladys claimed she had no other living children. Bernice grew up with her father and stepmother. Her brother died when he was a teenager. Bernice only had one photo of her mother. She believed that Gladys had passed away. In 1938, Gladys sent Bernice a letter. She wrote that Bernice had a 12-year-old sister. She also included Norma Jean's address. Gladys had been hospitalized for about six years. Norma Jean was living with family friends. She learned about Bernice from them. Bernice had just married her husband Paris Miracle. She was about to become a mother. Bernice set out to make contact with Norma Jean. She sent her a letter with a photograph of herself. She received a letter back with Norma Jean's photograph. Bernice tried to improve her sister's life. She wrote to other family members who could help her. This sister is first met in person in 1944. Norma Jean was 18 at the time. She was married to her first husband, Jim Doherty. She came to Detroit by train to visit Bernice. She spent almost all her money on the ticket. Bernice worried she wouldn't recognize her, but the sisters looked almost identical. They had the same dark blonde hair with a widow's peak. They had the same mouth, but their eyes were different. Bernice's eyes were brown. Norma Jean's eyes were blue, like their mother's. In 1946, Norma Jean adopted her stage name, Marilyn Monroe. Her fame skyrocketed, but she stayed close to her sister. Marilyn even schemed to make Bernice an actress, too. She snuck Bernice into the Fox studio. They pretended she was the studio's secretary. Bernice watched Marilyn's first screen test. Bernice soon had the chance to meet their mother. Marilyn took them both on a trip to California. Bernice was affected by her sister's fame. She never spoke publicly about Marilyn, but fans visited Bernice's apartment to ask about her. Marilyn tried her best to stop this from happening. She told reporters that she was an orphan with no parents. Less of Marilyn's fans came to Bernice after that. In 1961, Marilyn had an operation. Bernice flew to New York to see her. She worried about the sleeping pills Marilyn was taking. Marilyn, however, dismissed her concerns. Marilyn passed away in 1962. Bernice helped her ex-husband, Joe DiMaggio, with the funeral. She chose Marilyn's casket and the dress she was buried in. After Marilyn's death, Bernice broke her silence. In 1994, she wrote a book with her daughter, Mona Ray. It depicts their relationship with Monroe. It includes personal stories and family photos. Bernice died in 2014 at age 94. She was buried in Kentucky next to her husband.